respected Sri Pradhyan Singh Sekhawa, Honorable Minister Jal Sakti, Chair of the Session, respected Sri Vityanan Raiji, Honorable Minister of State for Home, Mamun Rakhinda, Honorable Alun Kumaji, Secretary Kawa, and my fellow co panelists respected member of NDMA, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I would now uh, present some of the slides to show that how we can make our highways safe from landslides and floods. Last three years, I have been working with NHI, and now I have come to NDMA. Many of the issues which maybe it was being considered there, now it has come to the front end because we need to make our highways safe. So this is one of the deepest incidents which took place in this August 22 in Mandi. The India Road Network is around more than 63.7 lakh kilometers. And out of that, around 1.40 lakh kilometers is national highways. And the budget allocated for this year to both is 2.7 lakh crore, which is around 12.9% of the total budget allocation. So last few years, road sector has been investing around more than 2 lakh crore. And as Honorable Chair said, that this must be the maximum amount being spent by a country to build this infrastructure. This is a slide for landslide data, and we can see from the slide that the maximum number of landslides also occurs in our country. So 12.6% of the total land area is susceptible to landslide, so we need to be very careful about designing of roads in future. And the estimated loss in 2011 was 150 to 200 crore, which has multiplied a number of times. But these are some of the facts which uh, we can say that during construction, landslide event, which occurs in India, is 28% of the world, and China is next, is 9%. So these are some of the slides which shows that if we don't take measures while building the roads, this is what happens during construction and this is totally unplanned which is being done. So this is a video clipping of National Highway 44, Jammu to Srinagar, where there is a regular flow of stones and in fact, this was this earlier slide which I showed to you. Uh, we, we had to build, we are building a tunnel to save on that. So this is the this is the slide which shows a tunnel in Biavar Pali Pindwara Road. Honorable Minister Jal Sakti is also aware, sir. In 2018, four people died. And we had to correct this next year. They spent around 22.5 crore and then three measures were taken. I have also tried to mention the code, IS code on the slides. I want to bring home the fact that there are provisions, there are IS codes. If this was followed during the construction, this would not have happened. Again, sir, this is a National Haven Monday where we can see that there was disturbances and then it was corrected at the cost of around 35 crores. This is again, I have tried to mention the IS code which could have taken care of all these problems. Sir, there was a problem in Kashmir and the loss per day was around 5 crore rupees due to the road blockage. These are some of the factors all of us are aware. There are guidelines and we need to take care of this during our uh, construction period, also the management later on also needs to be taken care of. Sir, there are so many damages which has taken place in the last few years, so we need to be very careful. 
I would like to bring home that most of the contracts are taken on EPC mode. There is a there are sites where EPC design is being done by the concessioner himself, and it is being verified and approved by institutions. We are thinking of those sections which are prone to landslides. The designs shall be predefined, and it should be. Taking care of the disaster issues of that place. Otherwise, what happens is because of cost cutting, generally the EPC contractor tries to uh, save money, and the problem uh, happens in later part of the operation. These are some of the standard codes uh, which is which can take care of the landslides, and we can save a lot of life. So this is again a uh, uh, strengthening is being done. In, uh, Chennai Nasri Tunnel Project in Jammu and Kashmir. This is in Himachal Pradesh. This was done in uh, Mumbai Pune Expressway because a lot of problem was happening there also. Uttarakhand. So at last, I would like to bring home that there are standard codes which are there. In our guidelines, if we follow it during design, if we follow it during construction, loss of life can be minimized to zero. Number one, number two, we can save a lot of money, which we later on uh, have to invest because once an incident, incident takes place, our reaction is very fast, and we have been able to take care. But I think if you are careful in future, we will not come to this situation. Then I will come to the flood. So this is two. 2015 Tamil Nadu flood. You can see what is happening on the road. Again, sir, this is Uttarakhand flood. We lost around and Kerala also 5815 crores. Out of the total area, India has 329 million hectares. 40 million hectare is basically prone to flood. And sir, as per the report of 2021. We suffered a loss of around 3.2 billion dollars. These are some of the loss figures. Uh, so there is a lot of economic losses during uh, because of floods. So earlier the highway engineers were basically making storm water drainage so that the during the process of management, if there is some rain, it, the water goes out of it. But due to growing urbanization land scarcity population pressure so lot many things has happened and because of that flood is uh, creating havoc so this slide is one of the under construction project of the later section of delhi mumbai expressway there was heavy rain in the district of bundi and you can see what has happened to this road which is under construction road later on the corrective action is being taken and this will require around 170 crore so luckily this road is under construction if this would have happened sir after construction of the road there would have been huge loss of life and of course economic loss this is again a, a bridge in muzaffarpur where due to floods things uh, stand still and there was a problem not corrected but there was a loss of traffic and of course an economic loss so this is again a site which you can see there are two bridges one is rail bridge other is road bridge this rail bridge you can see that uh, uh, there is still i think this is under uh, reconstruction somehow this we could save this road component and the traffic is moving i think sir now it is time has come then we should have a obligation on the highway engineers that whatever is the safety component required from disaster related to flood that should be taken care during design that should be taken care uh, during operation and sir lot of technologies available there is no dearth of technology we have satellite imagery we have softwares we have gis modeling So every every uh, every type of technology is available, and if we insist it during the designs, I think uh, we will be making our future roads uh, better. 
and all these disasters can be, we can save it. Uh, so point I am trying to bring home through this slide says, we have technology, if we have a will, as Honorable Prime Minister yesterday fully told us, that we cannot be careless about designing things, careless about doing construction, we have to take care of this, because sir, a single loss of life creates so much of problem, and at the same time, sir, we don't feel good about it. So I will end with a vision of NDM to build a safer and disaster resilient India by a holistic, proactive, technology driven and sustainable development strategy that involves all stakeholders and fosters a culture of prevention, preparedness and mitigation. The highway sector, because I have seen that how big investment is done, so if we take care of all these things, I think we will be in a position to save lots of life and of course it will Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And now, mainstreaming VRR in the health sector. Uh,